How's it hanging, fellas? I'm Otis, and this is another episode of Phoenix Friday's Attorney, and in today's episode, I'm starting here. Not sure if it's even the... No, I'm not even sure if that's where I left off last episode. I haven't played this game in a while. This episode was supposed to come out yesterday, but yesterday was no videos. Yesterday was Easter as well. <clears throat> and I fucking failed to do any Easter special. I failed to do any... April Fool's special, I failed to even upload a fucking video yesterday, so I gotta say I'm a little bit, uh, what the fuck, a little bit upset over myself, is that my sweat, Jesus Christ, my controller is all gross, the fuck was I fucking doing with it, man? I got a... Holy shit, what the fuck? Hold on. I'm not sure what I've done. But what the fuck is with my PlayStation controller? It's all like fucking dirty and disgusting. Is he covered in? It's a like grease. What the fuck was I doing with this thing? Was I playing after eating something greasy? I never do that. Always make sure to fucking have my hands clean when I'm playing games. Cause I fucking hate it whenever someone came over with fucking eating Cheetos and shit, only to then grab my fucking PlayStation controller and leave it all dirty. Now I'm the one who fucking done the same thing. How did I do it though? I was playing some Red Dead 2 yesterday. It's like, what the fuck is this shit? Only thing I can think of is perhaps I was trying to clean the controller and I cleaned it with some dirty fucking cloth or whatever. Anyway, so I failed a bunch of shit. I'm gonna upload this video today, even though today is a Skyrim episode, but I'm gonna upload it as a makeup for the lost episode that was supposed to be yesterday. What on earth even? Maybe the PlayStation controller is melting. It's disgusting, genuinely. It leaves like yellow stains on the fucking little piece of cloth I'm using right now. Little tissue. Anyway, I guess I'm back to recording fucking Phoenix Wright. Alright, it's clean now. What on earth though? That's weird. Hmm. Huh. Whatever. So yeah, I was fucking Failing to do anything, I got fired from my work on Friday right before Easter, so I didn't really felt like fucking sitting down and recording anything, kind of was depressed. Didn't really spend Easter very well either, it wasn't like some kind of a fucking grand holiday Easter hunt or some bullshit like that in some other countries or something like that. Where I live it's just a family gathering and that's it, but my family, I don't know, anyone's kind of fucking fucked up recently. So all I did was just eat some food with my parents and that's it and I'm recording today I think I got an appointment in an hour or in an hour and a half hour 15 minutes uh, fuck it I shouldn't be late and what am I trying to say I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to say oh yeah is that I took a week off work which I wanted to spend productively, but man, then it all kind of fucking... Kind of fucking crushed out. And it's all a big fucking mess now. Of course, I'm talking about... Oh well, yeah, the murder of Detective Bruce Goodman. I don't have any drinks with me. I feel like my throat already hurts. The chief prosecutor has been acting strange throughout this entire trial. Almost as if someone has been controlling her. 
See, I don't remember Ridgeworth saying that, so I imagine that's something... I think we're gonna finish this game this week. Speaking of finishing games, I finished Yakuza 8. It was good, it's really fucking good. It's such an addictive JRPG. I never played a JRPG that made me want to do battles this fucking much. Usually at some point in JRPGs, I'm just like, Oh my fucking god, I got into another fucking fight. Just want to move the plot forward, I don't care about fighting. But this one, this one made me really, literally just farm in the dungeons because fucking fighting enemies is so much fun. Story-wise though, it's a bit strange. If, I don't know. It starts off kind of interesting. If not a little bit still strange, right? And then it goes fucking strange directions. A lot of people, a lot of things happen that don't really pay off all that much. There's a lot of things that I felt like were underutilized with certain characters. And a lot of choices that were just kind of fucking obscure in my opinion. And the ending didn't really left any kind of a cliffhanger to the sequel. Though I suppose the seventh game also didn't left any kind of cliffhanger. Or did it? I don't know. I don't think it did. Only thing happened at the end that I'm kind of looking forward to in the sequel is that Ichiban and Saiko are now a couple, I guess. Even though they barely had any screen time together this entire fucking game. Which was a bit disappointing. I feel like that was a strange choice, how a lot of the characters didn't even fucking share any spotlight together. It was fucking weird. Well, you better watch your tongue. I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want to have to stab a motherfucker today. So what do you mean? That I wouldn't want to stab a motherfucker today, but if I have to, then so be it. If he means your honor, but he will have to stab a motherfucker today. So that Chief Kent is involved in the murder of Detective Goodman. In fact, he's Detective Goodman. Not only that, but the Chief is now making Lana take the rap to cover up his involvement. We're almost a hundred episodes into this goddamn series and I honestly don't remember what the fuck is happening. I was hoping that this game would some like slowly recap what's going on. I would get back into being like, oh that's right, that's going on. All these theories that I have in my mind come together. This, this and that. I solved the puzzle. I solved the crime. And then I'm gonna finish this game before it hits 100 episodes this week. I'm gonna record some gameplays and such I had been sitting, had been meaning to do for a fucking while, but I have such a problem recording any videos this fucking recent memory, where it's really annoying. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna manage to fucking record Let's Plays for any, any longer. See, I was saying that, okay, I can record Let's Plays until around October, which in around October I'm probably going to move out of my house, or at least I really wanted to do that. But that's because my current contract at my work was lasting till October. And that's the reason they fired me, because I was the youngest guy there, and my contract was expiring anyway, so they fired me. They fired over 20 people, so it's not like they fired just me. Man, fucking... Now I'm looking for a new work already, so it's a little bit, well... Frustrating, not gonna lie. I said, oh, Mr. Mr. Right, you uh, can't be serious. You literally can't. You're always goofy as fuck. This is an F a front for the highest ranking officer in your law enforcement agency. To accuse the chief of police of blackmail and murder? That's fucked up, man. Impossible. Your honor, I was merely retaining. I was just like fucking around. What Mr. Edgeworth said and easy to understand language. Such as Spanish. It's too late, Mr. Bright. That's not turning back for us now. Not that he's the one who decided to go through with this. We're fucked. No matter how you slice it. Yes, I finished Yakuza 8. I recorded like an hour long video of Smash Bros. Ultimate. And while playing it, I was like, man, this game's pretty cool, I wanna, like, maybe play more of it. But then I got to some level that was annoying, and I was like, man, fuck this game, and I just deleted it. To never play it again. But yeah, I have an hour-long video of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, so I wanted to record some commentary for that. I gotta record commentary for all these 
uh, Steam Deck games I recorded. I mean Steam Deck games. All the games I recorded from the Steam Deck. And I have the footage just kind of sitting on my fucking hard drive. Completely unedited, on nothing. Just, just raw footage. Without anything done to it. Man, my controller is dirty as fuck. It's gross. Honestly, I'm just so pedantic, I can't fucking stand to look at a grease stain on the fucking R1 button. Not to mention all the grease that gotten into the cracks of the plastic shell of the controller. Ah, fuck. Can you prove this, Mr. Ray? That the chief, a high-ranking officer of the law, is involved in this murder? Good question. Nah. Regardless of his rank or title, Chief Kent is just a man. Um, big honk of a man. The question is, is he a criminal? I believe the evidence will tell. But evidence can speak. Alright then, let's see what Mr. Wright's got. It better be good. Show us this evidence that tie Chief Kent to the murder of Detective Goodman. It's like toss a fucking dick on the table. I don't fucking know. Evidence list. Ties him to the murders of Detective Goodman. Is it the screwdriver? Well, Chief. So long as Raido here is tossing out things regardless of their relevance. Mind if I toss something too, Oogie? This shoe should do nicely. I'll chuck it right after you. Always were quite a joker, weren't you? Oops, looks like I got it wrong. God, you fucking kidding me. It's not the screwdriver? I thought I was right. Don't oops me. Maybe this boot to the head will knock some sense into you. Oh, it's hard for all that gone on during this trial. Also not remembering what the fuck's going on. But try to think back to what happened in the evidence room four days ago. Not to mention that we did find something during yesterday's investigation. Something that proves Gant entered that room. Looks like, oh, that's what they meant. The record of people who entered the room. Alright then. See what I missed? I forgot all about it. I thought he meant the screwdriver. This is the ID card list. Yes, the one that shows who entered the evidence room on the day of the crime. There was one ID on the list. Couldn't determine the owner of yesterday. Seven. Sorry, but there's no way you can prove that's my card number. It's your number. I proved it. Am I bluffing? What? How the, f how the fuck you know that? Safe when Chief Kane's office requires a code to open. And it just so happened to be a bunch of fucking sevens. Seven digits? You don't mean a moronic code like a bunch of sevens? What is this, a fucking f comedy skit? I'm afraid so, your honor, the code was seven sevens. The same as the remaining ID number on that list. Seems like this fucking idiot can't keep track of more codes than one. Oh, you're so upset over your shitty password. He entered the evidence room on the day of the crime. What are you stupid? Order, order. Chief King, what the fuck is wrong with you? Nothing. The first search for my office was in vo violation of regulations. And I'll demand Mr. Wright be punished to the maximum extent of the law. I'll punish him myself. Throughoutly, for right now the court demands an explanation for me. How about the use of the ID card? I think next game it opens up and Phoenix gets out of prison or something for all the fucked up shit he done. Not sure he got the criminal, but he went to prison. Emma went to prison. Lana went to prison. Everyone went to prison except for Edgeworth. Edgeworth went to prison too for using fucking false evidence. Chief Kane, so you admit it? You entered the evidence room on the day of the crime? What about it? I'm chief of police. Whether it's the evidence room or the bathroom, what's the difference? I shit whatever I want. <laughs> Tell me. 
When you entered the room, were you alone? I'm always alone. I always go to the bathroom alone. As I do with the Everest room. If Goodman wouldn't happen to be with you that day, would he? Of course not, where would he be? I haven't seen him in days, he's been dead. I haven't seen him in days, Chief Gant? I'm afraid you just undone yourself. On that day, you have to have met with Detective Goodman. Why? I don't know. What do you fucking mean? The trial's purpose is to determine Lana Sky's guilt. No, it isn't, Your Honor. This trial's purpose is to determine the truth. If Chief Kent met the victim the day of the crime, then we need to determine one thing. What transpired during that meeting? In that case, Mr. Wright, I'm going to have to ask you for evidence. Show us the proof that the victim went to meet Chief Kent on the day of the crime. See, that's the thing. I don't know. Fucking hell. It's Marshall's fingerprints. I did a sign attack to blah blah blah. Tagged with the uh, SL9 incident. What this? That Goodman lost his ID card on the day of the crime. Or to be more accurate, Jake Marshall stole it. So Detective Goodman filled out a lost item report. He would have, he would have had to give that report to the chief of police. This guy. Now if he ain't evil, then I don't know, man. Yet you are in the possession of that report. Which means you can't be sure if he filed it. He filed it? How do I know that, you ask? Because he needed to enter the evidence room that day. You know what? Having a fucking week off and sleeping till afternoon today kind of made me remember before I started work and I would just fucking do nothing with myself, pretty much. Sleep till afternoon, record let's plays, fucking go to sleep really late, playing video games all fucking day, not coming out of my room. All kind of fucking sad, depressing bullshit, made me go fat. He needed to. Yeah, so transfer the evidence out. Oh. After Goodman took the form to you, Chief Kent. Then... You accompanied the detective to the evidence room. I accompanied him. There's no other way that murder and Detective Goodman could have entered the room. I'm not sure why he would do that. <sighs> Fuck. Hold on, let me guess what you're going to say next. I, the chief of police, murdered poor Goodman. Yes. Exactly what I was going to say. Except I wasn't going to call Goodman poor. Chief didn't necessarily... I don't know how much he got paid. Chief didn't necessarily need to accompany him to the evidence room. You could have just lent him his ID card. Yes, I totally did. Now that you mention it, I believe I might have done something of the sort. Huh, bullshit. Sorry, but that's not possible. According to the record, your card was only used once. Yet you showed us your ID card earlier. If you had really lent it to Detective Goodman, it would have been found on his body. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck was that? You know, a good thing you pointed it out, um, Edgeworth, because I wouldn't fucking guess it. Also, am I talking to imaginary characters in the video game now? They're my only friends. They're always there for me. I don't like anyone else. Can you do that again? I wanna take a thumbnail of that shit. That's oh, cool. Murder was not likely a spur of the moment crime for no one in their right mind. Also, you freaking the fuck out like this really, really makes you look like the murderer. Put just the police department as a place to commit murder. 
After the murder, you contacted Lana at the prosecutor's office. Why? To dispose of Detective Goodman's body, of course. You're forgetting, Mr. Wright. The victim's body was discovered and in the prosecutor's office parking lot. How did he manage to move it there? I was at the police department the entire day, you know. And everyone's aware that Lana stayed at the prosecutor's office after the ceremony. Everyone except me, it seems. Still, you're the chief of police. You have an entire police force at your disposal. Oh, so you think I just ordered an officer to do it? Are you take your dead body over to the prosecutor's office? I don't think so. Chief Kent, you left all the evidence to me. To prove how you moved the body to the prosecutor's office is the screwdriver. And all this time I thought I was just useless clue just taking up space. The screwdriver. How could the chief have moved the body? Mr. Wright, show us this evidence. To move the victim's body, he used the screwdriver. This is how he moved Detective Goodman's body. What's this? A screwdriver? What does this have to do with the case? Mr. Edgeworth, think back to the day. It's not even... It's labeled some completely unrelated fucking case, too. Like AI-16. It's got nothing to do with anything. It's written on the tag. That means it has nothing to do with the current case. Or does it? That's a goofy-ass looking screwdriver, I gotta say. <laughs> Looks fucking funny. Looks like an ice pick. <laughs> or, like, uh... Oh, almost got it. Shit. Well, there you go. It's a, uh, it's an eyeball or something. I don't know. Also, another thing I did is actually got my emulator to emulate games well. Finally, the Yuzu, I mean. Because fucking, I mean, it emulated games well, except for fucking Mario and rabbits, which. The graphics in that game kept flashing, for some reason, like the shadows. Which is weird, because when I started playing the game, it was all fine. It occasionally would lag in like a busier location. But other than that, it wouldn't be that big of a fucking deal. I felt like I could play through the entire game like that, it's fine. It's a strategy game. Doesn't require you to have some kind of one-to-one -one input fucking delay. You know, you can just wait till the game stops lagging. I used to play games on a really po poor computer, so having to deal with lags is nothing new to me. And... But I fixed it, and it's not lagging, and it looks good. And I was like, man, how the fuck is it that only now I figured out how to do it, and I've been playing this game all fucked up, like, before. It's ridiculous. I got to the second chapter, I think. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna finish it anytime soon. Another game I finished is uh, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. It's the first Pokemon game I've ever, ever finished. And I say finished is that I defeated X at the end of the game. I defeated the fucking formidable four, 4 or whatever the fuck they're called. But the game, like, at the end, uh, teased something about a legendary Pokemon needing to be caught in some cave. And I was like, I don't really feel like doing that. That seems like just end game content, like a little bit of stuff to do after I'm done with the game. So yeah, I don't think I'll be doing that. I think I'll delete the save file and at some point I'll play through the game again. This time recording it. And I'll make a fucking Pokemon Let's Play. Why the fuck not? It'll be fun. It was insanely easy, that game, I gotta say. I pretty much beaten every single fucking Pokemon Master and everyone in the fucking game using just the basic Eevee. I had, and using the same fucking strategy over and over. Lowering the enemy's attack, lowering the enemy's defense, and then beating the shit out of them with either a physical normal attack, I think it was called fatigue, no. Yeah, it was called fatigue. Or, or with like a dark attack, because some of them were more weak to dark attacks, but not all of them. And it worked out great. So that's great. Right? 
What am I doing? Am I showing the fucking thing? No, I'm not. How long is this fucking video? Not only am I really close to finishing this let's play, I'm also really close to finishing up my Skyrim playthrough. And I mean the Dragonborn DLC, but that also would mean I would be done with the entirety of Skyrim. And once I'm done with the entirety of Skyrim, I think I'll record... You know, I think I'll record a summer special to kind of make up for the fact, for the lack of Easter special uh, of Mortal Kombat 1. I'll just simply set it for later. I'll record all the Skyrim holiday specials, set them for the next year. Yeah, I'll record a year in advance. But, like I said, I might not have opportunities to record Let's Plays soon. And then I will... I will do what? Then once I'm done with that, I will fucking... I'll finish Skyrim, I'll finish this game, I'll record some gameplays and such. Uh, I might be able to finish up Uncharted 4, which is the Let's Play after this one. But the Let's Play after Skyrim was supposed to be Yakuza 5. And I don't think I'll finish Yakuza 5 in fucking two weeks or something. Uncharted 4 I might be able, I'm not sure. That game is somewhat long, but not really. And then we have a Crash Bandicoot 2 Let's Play, which should be easy to record. I mean, I already have it recorded, I just need to make the commentary. Ah, uh, then we have fucking after I'm done with Skyrim, the next RPG after Yakuza 5 would have been... I don't know, maybe Witcher 3? Could we have played Witcher 3? What do you guys think? I don't know. Could play something a little bit more obscure. Could play Gothic. I could play a YS, I could play something like that, I don't know. Mr. Edge, we'll think back to the day of the crime. What is the screwdriver doing here? It's here because... You know, anytime I fucking record something, I know I'm to have like an appointment later, it just makes me kind of nervous, anxious, like what if I'm gonna be late? I was asked to go by Chief Gant, no less. It seems like whenever I have some appointment time just seems to fly by but whenever i'm like at work or something doing a bunch of dumbass shit then it feels like time is so fucking slow also how am i supposed to come to work i only have a month left to do so i i only have my contract now until october i mean april sorry it was until october before but now it's until april and I'm looking for different work, and I wanted to move out, so now I'm trying to fucking find some work abroad. It's a messy situation. Thank God I got a Steam Deck. That means I can move out and still record some Let's Plays, because recording on a Steam Deck is incredibly easy. But I'm not sure if I'll be able to upload from the Steam Deck. I mean, Steam Deck is a computer. I could probably pull it off, but still... Could be more difficult than it seems. I was asked to go by Chief Gant, no less. He told me he wanted to keep the keep it in here in the prosecutor's office. In any case, on the day of the stabbing, I brought this back here. After the ceremony, ah oh shit, I didn't plan to return to the prosecutor's office. But it did, because Chief Gant asked to. You mean I... The body was found in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car. Edgeworth is an accomplice in the murder as well. I figured zombies would happen. The body was moved by that son of a bitch, Edgeworth. He's an accomplice in the murder. Everyone goes to prison. The judge was probably in on it too. That of Goodman's body was carried in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car. Yes, unless of course you have another explanation, Chief. Why else would you have asked Mr. Edgeworth to transport evidence from a closed case? Could have at least picked something a little bit, but a little bit more relevant. Instead of some shitty ass screwdriver. It's the only plausible explanation. Transport the body to your accomplice, Miss Lana Sky. How did they put the body from the evidence room all the way to the parking lot and to Edgeworth's car? How did they do that though? That seems like a part we're, that seems like the part we're kind of skipping. 
What's going on here? Is there no room for rebuttal for the defense's outrageous accusations? I'm not even gonna mention how a, a bunch of episodes ago, I'm not even sure how many episodes ago that was, I mentioned how fucking stupid and ridiculous everything about this unstable jar is. The written message in blood, how it was shattered into pieces, so it couldn't have any message written on it while it was shattered to pieces because that's fucking stupid. Unless it was shattered a little bit, someone wrote a message on it and shattered it further, because that's stupid. Not to mention this entire fucking design of the jar is stupid. And the fact that Emma saw it at a specific angle thinking that it was the blue badger that didn't exist at the time. It's also the most stupid fucking thing I've ever heard. This trial seems to getting, like I said many times before, to some kind of Danganronpa levels of stupid. You know what, maybe the next two episodes I'll record later, once I'm done and back from that important meeting. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty... a much better idea than what I fucking tried to do, squeeze two episodes and then one episode after that. I'll just make one episode, have plenty of time for that thing I tried to take care of, and then I'll be back. Two files in the next episode, bye.